Okay, I just finished my third live workout with Tonal. The class is with this instructor. Her name was uh, Woody. Um, she was definitely high energy. And let's just talk about the instruction. So Woody, she was a good instructor. She gave a lot of details. Um, overall, uh, I don't know if she's a match for me in terms of personality type. She was very hype. It's almost like she had uh, three cups of coffee before it and um, they're trying to make it a little bit more entertaining. So there's many moments in there where she was being irreverent. But it was like definitely on the <laughs> definitely on the entertaining side. So it was closer to what you would expect from Peloton and no points against that. And maybe that's just the nature of the workouts that, you know, hit kind of workouts are like it's high energy. You know, you need that person to boost you on. She's dialing it up to like 11 to 12 in terms of energy level. If you like the Peloton style instruction, I would say this instructor is closer to the Peloton instructor that I've experienced. And not to say that all Peloton instructors are like Woody. I would say that there's a lot of symmetry between their style. As far as the duration goes, this workout was about 30 minutes. So I felt uh, towards the end, I wasn't able to do all of the reps. It wasn't bad, I just went at my own pace and there wasn't a certain number that you were trying to hit. She called out a number, she said like, try to get 10 or 12 done, but I could only get five incline push-ups done. And I know that's not much, but that's just where I am in my fitness level today. I guess that's a good thing, so maybe I'm getting stronger in that way. As far as the HIT workout goes, uh, I'm comparing this to the Peloton workouts that I've done on both the bike and on the treadmill, and it does look like a HIT workout. You can see the ups and downs, and that's definitely the result of the workout. So you're you're kind of doing these things very quickly. There are higher reps, lower weights, and um, there are some of them that definitely got my heart rate going up. My average heart rate, though, uh, was about 111. If you take that average, that's fair. And then about, I guess, the calories that I burnt, uh, I burnt about 212 calories. The HIIT workouts on Peloton are a little bit more vigorous in terms of getting your cardio up higher, but this also offers a different type of workout. So you're working different muscle groups, so a lot more variety. If you're on the bike, you're essentially just working your legs. So one of the things I was very curious about also was um, if I would enjoy the HIT class more than I enjoyed the strength class. What I don't like about the HIT workouts and um, some of the strength training kind of live classes, sometimes you just can't see the screen because of the way that you're positioned. And the coaches acknowledge that as well. They'll be like, hey, you're not gonna be facing the screen. Um, so they try to give you audio instruction, but there's just a lot of times where you're on the ground and you're doing some sort of workout and you definitely should position yourself so that you can see the screen, but that to me is a little bit frustrating. Um, I found myself almost in every single one of these live workouts. I'm left just kind of, you know, spending a little bit of extra time trying to look at the screen or trying to find myself the position on myself so I can see the screen. I think that if you are in a tighter space, like your living room or your bedroom, you might not have that room to create enough distance where you can see the screen. And I'm not saying that's a problem. I'm just saying that maybe the way to correct that or the way to compensate for that is um, maybe reposition yourself so that you're tangent from the screen. But just something to note if you're like in a really tight space. So there was a specific question talking about the social aspect. So that came from one of you recently. And so uh, in the comments it said, is there a leaderboard at the end that shows who the class strength leader is? I just don't see the point otherwise. I think I agree with that. The product does advertise that there's a strength score and that they index that and you can see how strong you are compared to other people. And I think in this kind of genre of fitness and workout, there is a lot of competition. And when you start indexing and comparing people's strengths, then you would naturally believe that there's also a leaderboard for their live workouts as well. There's no leaderboard on the live workout that shows you how much someone's lifting. Uh, it just shows whether or not they've reached a new personal record or um, you know, they'll be promoted to the front and you can kind of cheer them. I think it feels a little bit gimmicky, but there's also a reality to the whole competitive side of Tonal, because let's be real. Let, let's actually talk about what happens if you make it really competitive. Say like you have someone that's very, very strong that, I mean, they could probably pull this whole thing off the wall. Like, you know, think of the strongest friend you have, or maybe that's you, <laughs> you're the strong friend, and you could pull like the tonal right off the studs of the wall. Um, that is probably possible. I would not be surprised if someone could do that. There's probably a limit on the cables, there's probably a limit on the arms, and also how, my, how much weight the studs on the walls can take. At some point, if you're getting into like this competitive thing, yeah, you're gonna get the strongest human being, you know, to come up here and 
just crush this thing and pull off the wall. I think the limitation is actually the tonal. I understand where you're coming from in this question because the tonal, the way in which they showed the strength score and the way in which they've advertised their product, it would lead one to believe that there would be some sort of leaderboard. But I do have a suggestion. So crazy idea for this is, I don't know, let's call it tonal wars or tonal games. What if they were to do like some sort of tug of war where in, in a live class, they could split you up into two groups or multiple groups. And you know, when you're doing this, like as you're doing the rows or something like that, you can compete one side versus another side. Uh, the team that does more weights and is able to pull more uh, will, I guess, be, you know, maybe they get to take a 30 second break while the other you know, group has to do more push-ups or something. I could see something like that being really fun and they could connect a lot of people in that way. So it's almost like a video game where you could have people grouped together and, you know, and maybe in the future where there's smaller groups, maybe you could party up and you could ask your friends to play and it's almost like a multiplayer game. Um, that's definitely deviating further away from what they currently have, but I would find a lot of value in that. I, in fact, I would love to just like jump on the tunnel and, and play some sort of versus game with other people in terms of strength, whether it's like rowing or, and it doesn't have to be like pure muscle strength, but it could just be the cumulative score of some sort of workout. I know this is wild thinking, way off topic of what live is right now, but uh, as we talk about what the potential is and you know the idea of bringing competitiveness to the tonal, um, that's one way you could bring the social aspect and you know, the competitiveness and something to look forward to, like, you know, next week, you know, rematch, or maybe the strongest teams can, you know, almost like a bracket and they could follow like through notifications, through emails and their phone be like, you know, hey, these people, well, you know, cheer these people on. They're about to be, you know, these are the finalists. I don't know. I'm going too far with that idea now. So we'll put that aside. But if Tonal is watching right now, there you go. Take that one to the bank if you'd like. But yeah, I've been just watching too many squid games. <laughs> so that's what's happening. So so that's a lot of information. So let's just jump into it. Enjoy the show. Use that abdomen. Break the core. Pull the belly button in. Use the knees. And help drive the momentum. This is combining a crunch with a lat pullover. So your abdomen is working, but also your core on the back side. As soon as you feel like you got the movement pattern, I tell you for you, pick up the tempo. Let's get it. Inhale as you extend. Exhale as you drive everything together. So me in the middle. Woo! My core is on fire. Let's go. Again, with the handle stacked over top of the shoulders, that's where you turn the weight off. Then slowly release the handle and meet me on your feet. How are we feeling, Josie K? How are we feeling, Fred? Congratulations, team. Hit your PRs already in set one. That's just how my team rolls, baby. Let's go. Up to 133 friends in the tunnel community here right now at 430 on the Pacific Coast, 730 on the East Coast. Everybody coming together is Big happy family, let's do it again. Set two on deck, single arm squat and row. You already know what to do. Dropping into this squat, taking a deep breath. Get sit with me, open up the chest. Take a deep breath, come away now. Three, two, one, still with eight. Really squeeze those shoulder legs together in the back side. Here comes squat and again. With the assist. What I want you to do is do not hyper extend at the top. Keep that spine neutral. Turn the weight off in your bottom position. Quick switch of your hand. Again, same thing. Eight, eight reps on the other side. Turn the weight on. Three, two, one. Pull it, baby. Come on. Eight. Again, here comes spark legs on the other side. Still working with ease through eight reps here. Down to a couple more on this side. We can say max. Nice. Let's go. Turn the weight off. You know what to do. Meet me back in this pull over crunch. If it was hard for you that first set, this set is where you make it yours. This set is where you say, you know what? I'm going to make this pull over crunch more finish. That's right. Let's go. Grab over the handles. Scoot it down. 
Arms are stacked over top of the shoulders, immediately locking out the wrist, the elbow. Shoulders super stable, abs super tight. Turn the weight on. We start to inhale extension. Three, two, one. Open it all up. Come up. Close it all. Over crunch. Pack the lats here. Those big muscles on either side of your torso. They're going to help you drive that weight down. And it's my challenge to you. Do not let your feet hit the ground. How we feeling? The Velvet Merkin camera dry. Congratulations on some PRs already, baby. Work it out one time. You are so close, Tana. With only a few more reps here. Bean it up. Go for gold. Again, turn the weight off with the shoulders and wrists. Stacks, release the handles. Join me in moving this mat out of the way. But guess what? Here's the deal. For our next block, you don't have to move anything here. The arms and the attachments, they stay the same. That's my gift from me to you. How we feel it? Torta Fleece is still free range monkey. JV1282, congratulations on PRs at home. We got Dave Lava being super rises in the house. Baby, that first block of prime dust. And let me tell you, you can run, but you cannot hide because it is power block time. Yes, sir. The goal so, is to lot try to power here. A lot of above 80 energy <laughs> throughout these upcoming timed <laughs> intervals. That's right. Oh Everything is timed in our power block. Three moves. They're all on tunnel. You've got to move that weight with speed, force, and intention. Are you ready for this? Just a dash, just a dash of rest in between sets. Let's get to it. Bounce with me, bounce with me, shake that body out, and let's fire it up. We're going to start with a goblet squat. Y'all already know this move. You know this move? We got 30 seconds on the clock. Let's grab the pull of the handle. Lisa, if you want to come close to me real quick, just for a second. Look at this, I'm splitting the difference on either side of the end of the corner arm. I'm grabbing hold of the straps and I'm wrapping my thumbs over the top and I'm going to hug it tight to the chest because I love this handle. I love it. And this is a good, safe way to keep it in tight to my midline. Here's where I turn the weight on, I raise the tummy, I drop it in the hips. 30 seconds, three, two, one, drop in. Weights in the heels. I really squeeze my abs at the bottom of the movement. Squeeze them here. Drive through those heels to stand tall. Feel them in the glutes, in the quads, on the front side of the legs. Slowing down the momentum on the way down. Powering it off on the way up. Keep work, power. At the top again is where you turn the weight off. Release the handle. Let's bring in the bench. We're going to hit some back. Bring in another row variation. This time focusing on one arm at a time, unilateral move. So we're using the bench, coming to one hand and one knee. Inside hand, inside knee. Shoulder stacked over the wrist, hip stacked over the knee, tummy tight, back flat. Grab a hold of the handle with your outside foot extended and playing on the ground. Turn the weight on with your palm facing you. We work for 20 seconds on one side. Three, two, one, pull. As you pull that handle to your hip, you're going to rotate the palm to neutral, so it's going to face your pocket. Big pull through the shoulder blades, trying not to open the hips or the shoulders. At the bottom, turn the weight off, release the handle, let's make a quick switch. Look at this. You can feel really real quick. And now we're coming again to the inside hand and knee. What's up, BG? BG on the camera over here. Extending the outside foot, planting the outside foot, soft in the knee. Hips are low. Back is flat. Turning the weight on. 20 seconds. 3, 2, 1. Here we go. Pull. After those first couple reps, what do you know? They're smart flex. Smart flex, Susie. She's our best friend. Let's go. Helping us get stronger. Helping us stay safe in this full range of motion. Apple extension, the weight goes off. Don't even stand up. Meet me in a seated position. 
Your feet are staying on the floor. You're right in between the ends. Pull them on. See the top. Take these fingers up. Grab a hold of the handles. Last move in our first set of our power block, our second block. Opening up the shoulders, palms are facing total. Turn the weight on. 30 seconds of the bicep curl. Three, two, one. Let's get it. Squeezing the bicep to the top. And then I want you to control the descent. Pull that other guy in. Keep that, that torso tall. Keep that spine long. Again, very smart flex. Increasing at your strongest point in the range of motion, lessening the weight at your weakest. Keep going. Turn right off, release the handles. Here's this up. We get to chill. We get to just absolutely chill for 30 seconds. Maybe get a quick sip of water. Maybe say, hey, what's up to our friends? Send out some cheers, send out some shout outs. Super Raj reaching out 5,000 pounds. Mrs. Brad reaching 100,000 milestones in that last set. That's what I'm talking about, baby. The bread woman, BSB, Johnny Baboon. Congratulations on some PRs. Keep it coming, baby. Keep those achievements are rolling in. That is what I love to see. And you know what? It's time for set two. There's 133 people here right now. Good, good stuff. We're going to set it off with a goblet squat. Here's the deal. All right. All right. More right. goblet squats. We have five seconds more. It could be five seconds. Like, There we go. Couple more reps. Let's get it in. 35 seconds. Same grip on this handle. Same position. Cable perpendicular. Handles at the chest. Turn the weight on. Let's go for this. Three, two, one. 35 seconds. Drop in. I want to see you drive. Boom. Pull your heel. And squeeze the ass cheeks together at the top. Like you got a zipper. Zippering them together. Drive that power meter above 80%. With that explosive movement right there. You're more than halfway through. I want to see you go for more reps. Then step one for more power, for more explosivity. A couple more. Turn the weight off. Release the handle. Bench comes back. What's up, girl? Miss you. Miss you, baby. Dropping the bench again, right between your arms. I like to place. My bench is right at the rotation button. That's a good spot for me. It's a good spot for a couple moves on total with the bench. I'm going to rest my hand and inside knee. Grab hold of the handle again. Get set. Take a deep breath with me. To naturally neutralize the spine. Turn the weight on. Three, two, one. 20 seconds again. Pull. Squeeze the shoulder blade. Smart touch again. I would love to see you. Aim for three more reps right here. Let's go. Make it eight. Make it ten. Go. Go. Apple extension. Turn the weight off. Release the handle. How many reps did you hit me in that last interval? Do the same on this side. Even things out. Beautiful position. Neutral spine. Weight goes on. 20 seconds. Three, two, one. Even it out. Pull, baby. Come on. Ha. Go to work. Go to work, keep squeezing those shoulder blades together. Keeping that back flat. Keeping those hips high. Don't sit back. You're so close now. A couple more now. Turn it off. Drop the handles. Take a seat. Seated bicep curl. 35 seconds. Are you ready for this? Are you ready to do this with me? Here comes smart flex on this bicep curl. We are still in the back power block. Don't you forget it. Open the chest, weight on, three, two, one, pull. I would love to see you aim for at least 10 control press for fly to them. Remember, even as you're aiming to shoot that power here above 80%, it is so important to move with good form, to move with intention. Quality over quality, always, always. Squeeze the bicep to the top and slow down the descent. Slow down the descent to the core of the length and the length of the movement. Turn the weight off. You know what time it is. Rest time, baby. 35 seconds to chill out and relax the body. And let's see how my team is doing. Be no being noody. Flexing the yes. out. Turning WR. Congratulations on reaching 
a milestone set to my team, Return of the Match. Let's give it up to Return of the Match, reaching one million pounds in that last set. If you can find them, send out a cheers. Send out a cheers to everybody who showed up here today. Because I don't know about where y'all are, but it is a rainy, weary ass day here in LA. And if you showed up, that's it's rainy here too. In and of I'm in the East Coast in Maryland. It's time for set three, baby. Let's get set up. A little bit more intensity. Oh boy, Everybody more intensity. Say it out loud. Say it out loud with me. I'm about to crush this. I'm gonna crush this. Turn the weight on. Positive affirmations all the way. I want to hear you say them out loud. Three, two, one. 40 seconds. Drop in. Go. No matter where you are in your fitness journey, no matter where you are with your goals, when you wake up any given day, it's a new opportunity. It's a chance for the beginning of a new season. It doesn't have to be a new month, a new week, a new year. But your time starts. Your new season starts when you say it starts. And right now, this moment right here, this workout right here, us together, is the beginning of a new season. Let's go. Turn the weight off. Release really the handle, and let's see what happens. On this next single arm bench over row, drop in the bench. This is it, team. We got two more moves on total in our power. Heart rate's up. around 140. And I'm looking for more. 141 right now. Drop in, get ready. Still with 20 seconds. Single arm bench over row. Set up that beautiful stance. Turn the weight on. Three, two, one. Let's go. I want you to squeeze your shoulder blades. Squeeze your tummy, and I want you to get feet at the top. And on your way back down, on that deep set, I want you to operate with control. Couple more. Turn it on. Release that handle. Quick switch to the other side. Here it is. Rush. How are we feeling? How are we feeling, Max? Turn the weight on. We go. Three, two, one. Pull. 20 seconds again. Last chance with this single arm bent over row. Make it yours. Say it out loud. This is mine. This is my moment. This is my opportunity. This is my chance to shine. Turn it off. Release the handles. We got one more move. One more move on our power block. See if I set for 40 seconds on the clock. Crowd shoulders. Can we smile? This is supposed to be fun. Are you having fun? Make some noise if you're having fun. Shout it out if you're having fun. Turn the light on. 40 seconds, seated bicep cross. Three, two, one, pull. Here's the deal. No matter when, why, or how you choose to set out on a new season, on a new journey, it's my mission for you that you free yourself of self judgment. You will make mistakes. Mistakes are welcome. Those are learning opportunities. You will slip up. Slip ups are welcome. Those are chances to grow. Free yourself of self judgment and just move forward. Put one foot in front of the other and just keep going. Just keep on going. Come on for a free ball right here. Close out this power block right here. Play right off with arms and full extension. Release those handles, baby! Release them, baby, because that is the end of our power block. Curry WR, Joe Brookhouse, Free Range Monkey, Cameron Bride, Joy Lander, Falcons, congratulations on reaching 5,000 pounds during this workout. Potato chip, the big cat. Sorry, Marie. Thanks for this wrong with our uh, microphone, this is me the lavalier. Love right here. So good you do some love right here. Listen, oh boy. I told y'all it was coming. I told y'all it was on its way. It is time to get outside of the comfort zone, okay? It is time for the burn block, baby! This is your last push, literally. What does that tell you? It's your last push. We're stacking two timed movements, still with the timed intervals, to keep that burn so strong, so strong. Give me a shimmy right here if you're ready. 
A 20 second shimmy. Oh, you better. Oh, you better. Don't be shy about it. Oh, shimmy down. Let's jump in to our final block, burn block. Only two moves and they are time. Right. We're starting with a standing incline press. I want you to put your eyes on me real quick. Just real quick, you're going to turn away from me in a second. You're going to find a split stance with both of your feet planted on the ground. Soften your knees, soften your hips. Starting with the handles right here at your shoulders and palms facing forward like you're saying hello to somebody. You're going to turn the weight out here at your shoulders and then you're going to drive it high for this standing incline press for 30 seconds. And then we'll turn it off at the shoulders again. If you are ready, I want you to say you're ready. Thank you.
15 seconds is nothing. Press through it. Remember, don't rely on the motivation. Dedication is what's going to get you there. You got to want it. Ta! Find your feet. My arm's about to fall off. How about yours? So sore, baby, but it's a good sore. It's a satisfactory sore. James, stand up on Super Ground PRC. Oof, I lost that one really hard. Congratulations on your milestones and your PRC team. You want to pull it down with me? Just real quick. Real quick, pull down. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to reach your hands high in the sky. Oh my God, it's hard. It's almost rude. It's almost rude, but now look at this. Drive your elbows down and press your hands back to open up your chest and lean back just a little bit. All right, I'll do these two. Together. You feel that lower back compress as well? What are you doing? Opening up this chest and the anterior shoulders. Oh, that's nice. That's pretty nice. Open up your base, toes point out a little bit, drop in with me, a little hip opener. Drop in. I was doing this with Issa before the show. Issa's coming on the camera right there. That's my bad. I was doing this with him before the show because most of us don't realize that the hips, whoo, they are tight. They are very, very tight, even if you're not coming out of the workout. I'm going to have sitting down for hours, you better believe. I can't do that. Sorry, right there, this stretch is going to be just right. I'm going to work on this. We're going to stand tall right into lateral bend. Roll it up with me. And then retie this guy again. And then lead over to the right side. And pull on that wrist just a little bit with your outside hand to open up your shoulder and your oblique and your spine. And then reach up and reach over. And again, same exact thing here, tugging on the wrist, opening up the spine, opening up the abdomen and the shoulder and the lats. And then I want you to pull up to center and release your arms. Just let them hang loose. Those shoulders, those arms are so tired. Let's roll them down the back. Ooh, release any of that tension. Say goodbye, tension. I had enough of you, tension. Good, bad. Let's hey, do it, baby. Just like that. Another live session in the books. Mark it down. I love this day. I love this workout. Thank you, Woody. I'm going to hit you up later, girl. We accomplished so much together today. Discovering new PRs. I see them right there. They're still rolling in. In strength and power, pushing and pulling in all kinds of planes, we did it all. And my team brought the power, and that is what's up. Until next time, I'm Coach Woody. Rest up, rip you, and be good. Hmm. All right. Uh, five hundred. Sorry, five thousand nine hundred eleven pounds on the lift. Here we go. And I guess uh, we lifted together uh, six hundred uh, twenty-six thousand pounds on this live one right here. All right. Okay, that was the workout. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate that. Uh, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. I read every single one and I try to answer as many as I can. Um, and if I can, I'll try to cover them in the next video. So again, thank you so much. Please leave a thumbs up. That lets me know that you want to see more content like this. And I'll see you all very soon. All right, have a good workout. Later. Peace.